Uh, we did a, I did a presentation back, um, I think it was in October, on appraisals, appraisal theory, and why comps are worthless for investors. And in that presentation, which I covered what I just spoke about, I also talked about the absolute need, the essential need, that when you're doing a repair or a remodel, you have to document the information from when you buy the house, the condition that the house is in, and the repairs that you're going to do to the house, and why you're going to do those repairs. Now, if you do not have it correctly documented, and you buy a house, and we're going to use real examples, you buy a house for $50,000, it's been on the market for nine months, it's a HUD foreclosure, it's got problems, it's got issues, there are no offers, and it finally gets sold and you pay $50,000 for it. You then go in and you spend $40,000, 80% of the price of the house, on repairs. And then you're expecting to at least purchase the house, but a buyer shows up because there aren't very many newly well-built or remodeled houses in the $150,000 price range. So a buyer shows up, you price it for $159,000, and you get a contract. Now, the problem is, under the new appraisals, the Uniform Appraisal Code, you can see, you saw if you were in the meeting, if you go on our website, you'll see that they only, the appraisers only have three blocks to check off. And they have to check the direction that the neighborhood is moving in. So if you don't have the repairs documented, the appraiser has no way to give value to that house as to why there's a $50,000 potential margin of profit. Because the appraiser sees what you paid for the house because you bought it at foreclosure. They see what you've done as the repairs because you've given them that list. And they, it's very hard for them to justify the extra value as a market profit. And so that structure of keeping track of repair, getting, it, again, the classic is if you do a kitchen and, they, and you repair the kitchen, this is one I use and I'll end on this one, you, you put in a new floor and you put in new cabinets and you put in new appliances, the appraiser will see that and see that only as an upgrade to the house. It won't be considered a repair, and it won't uh, certainly be considered a, a, um, an improvement, uh, I'm sorry, a repair of deferred maintenance because he won't be able to see it. He won't be able to see that it, it's a repair of damage. He'll just simply say it's an upgraded kitchen. So the work has to be documented <coughs> about fixing the floor, fixing the sagging floor. Todd? I'm just going to say, depend, that'll depend on your appraiser too, because I just had an appraiser come back and say, I need that documentation. My number's good on the house. It's 30000 under tax appraisal. Right. But, and he didn't have a problem with my sale price, but we did have to go back. We did have to document everything. And it's Bank of America. Um, Who, by the way, in case you haven't heard, has had a few problems recently with their loans. Yeah. And <laughs> sort of upset that they even went this route. But we're having to jump through a lot of extra hoops because of we bought it for fifty seven, we sold it for 100000 more. There we go. And so what happens is when you're doing when you're doing the when you're doing the work, the other line item that you want to add is your own management time. A lot of times uh, we will manage our own. I don't ever manage my own projects. I shouldn't say that. Some a lot of people in this room manage their own projects. Um, if you manage your own project and somebody is doing the repair work for you and they give you a repair bill, you have to add in your own management time. <coughs> to that repair bill. So when you give it to an appraiser, your time is calculated into the transaction. So it's critical that when you, when you, if you've hired somebody to do the repairs, that they're gonna document what they're gonna do. There's gonna be plenty of photographs of what they're gonna do, preferably video if you wanted to, but for sure photographs. The uh, repairs are, uh, the line items detail what the work is being done by the person who's submitting the bill and then you've added a management line item, just management expense, which all appraisers will accept, of somewhere between five and 10%. If you don't add that, it will not get credited in the appraisal and it helps justify the price of the home. So it becomes critical that you add that information. 